You ever go to the local convenience store and see cheeseburger rollers? Today, we're gonna show you how to make them. Just ignore what they look like. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews and we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics and every Monday, we go live on Keto Beyond the Couch because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon since now every single recipe we get is from a gas station, you'll be alerted to it. What do you mean to ignore the way they look? They look like number two. If I'm <laughs> honest, it's like number two with corn stuck in them. Like that, I mean, they are the most unappealing things, but I'm gonna tell you they're tasty. You should have seen the first round we tried making. Me and Anthony, we were trying to make them and these actually don't look like anything compared to what yeah. the first round looked like. Not appetizing. So here's the thing. Anthony and I run a landscaping business. We have for years. And because of that, we have pretty much survived, especially for me before keto, on gas station food. Pre-keto, one of the things I absolutely loved when you would go to 7-Eleven and stuff is these things called cheeseburger rollers. You usually find them on the roller grill right next to the hot dogs and the Keto's and all that kind of stuff. And I really liked them. They were like a cheeseburger in a hot dog Portable. form, right? They were really good. You'd put them on, put all your toppings on. They were great. When I went keto, I stopped eating because I figured the ingredients have to be horrible, right? Yeah. Well, recently I actually discovered the ingredients in those are cleaner than the ones that are in the hot dogs in the same gas station. That is insane. So Anthony and I set on a mission to try to make them and we really couldn't make them look appetizing. No matter what they tasted like, they didn't look appetizing. Right. But finally we found a tool. Yes. A tool for making them. So a little bit before Christmas, I saw this pop up in my Facebook feed. Facebook can be dangerous for yeah. me. It's kind of like watching uh, David Venable on QVC. Um, I saw He's this not thing. not to watch him anymore. I ordered not just one. I ordered three. Because why Because not? I was like, this thing looks cool. It's a kebab maker because we've been doing a lot of sausage. And some people have been like, hey, I want to make the sausage, but I don't have any way to do it. And I kind of like that shape, that kind of stuff. So I ordered one for me. I gave one to Rachel's mom. And we ordered one to give away, which we're gonna do on this video. Right. So in today's video, we're gonna show you how to make cheeseburger rollers. Yes, let's call them that. Because cheeseburger rollers sounds so much better. Than, Are you ready? Than number two on a stick. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's get into what we need. This is pretty simple. First thing we're gonna need is some ground beef. One would hope. Um, then it's kind of spices. Here's the spices that I am putting in it and I absolutely love. We got some Redmond real salt, some paprika, white ground pepper. You can use black if you want. Garlic powder, mustard powder, and then finally we need some cheese. Now I'm gonna use high temp cheese, but you can actually use regular cheese. High temp cheese just doesn't melt and get as gooey when you're cooking it, which she is might like gooey. why you see these little like squares on here. You can see how I cook these and the cheese is like this, but now when you go to eat them, it kind of gushes out at you. Yeah. Uh, but it's up to you, you can use regular cheese. Are you ready? So ready. Okay, we're gonna put all this stuff aside and go ahead and make them. Okay, I did forget to say. This is a really easy recipe to make. How easy is it? This recipe is so easy, even Rachel can make it. Are you telling me that I could be a gas station chef? Yes. Okay. You ready? Good news. Go ahead and dump the ground beef into the bowl. Boop. And this is really easy. It's a half a teaspoon of every one of our spices. Okay, half a teaspoon. Okay, so half a teaspoon of white pepper, a half a teaspoon of mustard, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of paprika, 
and a half a teaspoon of Redmond Rail Salt. That was easy enough. From there, we're gonna go ahead and start mixing it and then we're gonna add in some cheese. Now, how much cheese will you need? The cheese is kind of how much do you want? Like how cheesy do you want? I'm pretty cheesy as a person. For me, a good ratio is 10%. Okay. So you've got 16 ounces of ground beef. So I would say anywhere between one and a half to two ounces of cheese. Okay. But you could add more and have it more cheesy or you can add a little bit less and not have quite so much cheese. So if I wanted to, if I didn't want cheese at all, I could just stick this in the You can thing. just stick that in okay. there. Okay, but I want cheese. Okay, so I've kind of uh, broken this up a little bit. We're gonna go ahead, that's probably about two ounces there. Go ahead and give it a good mix. What I'm looking for is, is there a little bit of cheese with each bite? Popping out. This is kind of a fun cook with kids date night yeah. experience. Because it's not a super expensive device. It's not like a $400 piece of equipment. So um, I'll leave a link for it down below. You can buy directly from the company. We are not sponsored. They didn't give this to me. I no. bought it with my own money. In fact, I bought three of them with my own money. Right. Um, they did have a deal when you bought um, two of them. You got an extra one. So um, if you buy directly from the company, it's like $17.50 plus shipping. You can buy them directly from Amazon, $27 on Amazon Prime. If you just want a hoot, that's less than a movie ticket. So this is called the Easy Kebab Maker. Although it should be called the Giant Air Horn because it looks like a giant air horn. It does look like an air horn. And it's red. So when you buy it, it comes with just this thing. And then if you want, you can actually make like skewered kebabs. You can get these sticks, you can get them on Amazon, you can get them directly from the company. So I bought a pack of 100 of these skewers. We're really in this. So when you make that, you can either put it on a skewer and literally have a kebab, or you could make like cheeseburger rollers, which is basically just like a sausage that doesn't have a casing on it. And you, so you don't have to have the sticks. No. Okay. But it's kind of cool to have the sticks. Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out this top and you're gonna go ahead and put some meat in here. And you want to try to do it so that you don't get a lot of air in there. So just kind of push it down. And I found it will hold about a half a pound, maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Okay. Because then we got to put this in. Put your top on. And you're going to push it until the meat gets right to the bottom. Okay. Okay, so we have right there. See right there is where the meat oh, is. Oh, I see it. It's right so there we're in this So just kind of push it down horn. until the meat gets to that part. Okay, so it's right there. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this both ways. You can okay. do it with the skewer or without the skewer. All right. Okay, so if you're gonna do it with the skewer, what you do is you just kind of push it up like this. It's about to, yep. it's turtle heading. You take that little pointed end. Yeah. And you put it through this hole in the back. Okay. And you're gonna put it until the skewer comes out the front. Oh, nice, okay. Now, all you gotta do is press here and push down until the whole skewer comes through. It's gonna pull the skewer through and everything. What? What? Okay, now you just grab this in and push it down a little bit more so it doesn't fall. Oh my go. gosh. Okay, that's kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. So we'll put that one off to the side. All right. Now, you might as well put some more of that meat in there. This is a craft project primed for Rachel because it doesn't need to look perfect. Okay, now, if you want to have it, we'll push this off to the side like this. If you want to have it not on the skewer, okay. here's what I found you do. Put it right to the edge of whatever you want. Okay. Okay. And you press. And when you press, it's going to shoot across the board. Ready? Yes. Oh! So then you just kind of straighten it out. If you had a knife, you can just kind of do that. But now it is, it has formed like a log oh uh, yeah a log <laughs> okay we'll put the last bit in there and then we'll do the, you want to do the rest like that or you want to do it on a skewer i like it on the skewer since we got them because okay. then it's like handheld more portable keto options okay so i'll do this i'll put the skewer through it's nice that it has a little hole for it <sighs> don't strain to push it up <laughs> you might break it you might hurt it and you should probably have enough for one more. Now, there's probably a little bit left in here. So a couple things you can do. This thing actually comes apart very easy to clean. 
So you can just kind of pull it like this and check it. And as with all sausage stuffers, there's always a little bit that's left in the horn. And like I said, it comes apart very easy. And I just use our fingers, we push it out, and then Rachel turns the last little bit into hamburger patty. a hamburger patty, or you can even roll it up if you want and try to put it on the skewer. So no waste here, but now how do we cook these monstrosities? Any way you would cook a burger okay, so or a hot dog. On the grill. So you can put these on the grill just like this. You have these nice little kebabs. Or what I found is works really well is the air fryer. I put them in the air fryer 370 degrees because pretty much everything I put in the air fryer, I hit on and whatever it's on, I hit start. So 370 degrees, 10 minutes, and they come out perfect every single time. Now, if you want it more of like a medium or a medium rare, like you would a burger, yeah. normally these are always like well done because gas station. Gas station. Uh, just undercook it a little bit. So you're telling me that they don't ask you, how would you like your gas station roller, Joe? No, okay. we're gonna go ahead and stick these in the air fryer. Okay, your kebabs are done. Now I know I was making fun of the way that they look, but this thing is actually pretty neat and you could use any of our sausage recipes. Yeah. Just throw the meat and seasoning combination down this thing and there you go, sausage. Yeah, the herb chicken one, that'll work really well. Yeah. Uh, we're working on a breakfast sausage one. Any kind of meat combination will work really well in here and if you don't have a sausage stuffer and don't wanna deal with like sausage casings, this is a great way to do it. So do you wanna have the one with the stick or without the oh, stick? Oh, I want the stick because portable and also dunkable. We got some Primal Kitchen ketchup. Ketchup or mustard on your burger? I like mustard. You're dripping. Am I dripping? Oh, sorry. Wanna dink it? Dink. Dink. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is delicious. That is absolutely delicious. This is super fun. I think about like family cookouts, 4th of July, super easy, super portable. Now you know what else you can do? I'm talking, you think about like lettuce wraps on burgers, it never really works mm. right, right? Because like you're trying to go around a burger, but you this would work really well with a lettuce wrap. Mm -hmm. Take that like just a piece of like romaine lettuce or something like that and roll this up inside of there. It'll egg come life out wrap. really well. And egg life wraps, any kind of thing like that. So, super easy. Yeah, super easy to make. Took less than 15 minutes from the time we started mixing everything to the time you were done and having it on the plate. But Joe, why should we have all the fun? I think that we should give away one of these guys. So we are going to give one away. Everybody can have the fun. Also, this is a great meal prep. Make a whole bunch of them. I mean, look, we got six of them basically because there's another one in the air fryer. 10 minutes and you're done. You got six of them with a pound of ground beef. Yeah. So you can do that. Make up a whole bunch of them, have them in the refrigerator, take out the cheese. It's great for beef, butter, bacon, and egg. Absolutely. So here, we've got one here. I'll even throw in like 10 skewers with it. Um, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel. You need to hit the like button on this video. You need to live in the United States and then leave a comment down below. In the description box, we will have the date we were going to draw the winner. You gotta make sure you have the notification bell turned on because we're going to contact the winner by responding to the winning comment. We will never contact you with a phone number or like, I mean, it, yeah. I'll tell you exactly what it's gonna say. It's gonna say, hey, congratulations, you won. Please contact us at joe at twocrazyketos.com with all of your shipping information. So if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos. We have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent videos I'm gonna put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we put meat on a stick, you'll be alerted to Till it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.